So let's now write our very first line of JavaScript code. And for now, we will do that in the browser developer tools. So just to get started as quick as possible. We will then switch to the code editor that we just installed before in the next video. So make sure to open up Google Chrome. And then there are three ways in which we can open up the Chrome developer tools. First, we can hit Command Option J on the keyboard. And that's on Mac. So on Windows, that's going to be Control Alt J. And so this will then open up this console that we see here. So all of these tabs here are basically the developer tools, but we are just interested in the console. Okay. Now, another way of opening the developer tools is by right clicking and then inspect, which will bring us here to the elements tab. And then from there, we can go to the console. And the third way, and I'm showing you all of them because I know that different people like to do it in different ways. So the third way is to come here to the Chrome menu and then in there uh, we go to view, developer, and then JavaScript console. Okay, and so we're back to the JavaScript console. And I'm increasing the font here a little bit by hitting command plus and give it some more space. Now this JavaScript developer console allows us to write and test JavaScript code. So it's very useful during development, for example, to fix errors. Now we don't write real applications, of course, using this console, but now just to get started, let's use the console because it's a good and easy way to just write some JavaScript here. So let's write alert, which is a so-called JavaScript function, then open up parentheses and without a space between alert and the parentheses, and then we write a so-called string. So which is basically text and let's write hello world. So that's the standard way of learning programming in any programming language. Then we write the closing parenthesis and then let's hit return or enter. And you see that JavaScript gave us this pop-up window here, which has hello world, just as we typed here in our string in our code. Great. So that's your very first line of JavaScript code right there. So any code that we write here and then hit return will immediately get evaluated. Okay, but of course we can do a lot more. So let's write some more JavaScript code, uh, which of course you do not need to understand yet. I just want you to show some stuff that we can do. We will go into how everything works as we progress through this section, okay? So just to experiment a little bit, let's write a so-called variable. So let's say let JS equals amazing. And so once more, we are basically writing a string here. So text, and then we will do if and open parentheses, JS is equal to amazing. Then we want an alert window, like we saw before, saying JavaScript is fun. And if I hit now return, we get this window which says JavaScript is fun. Okay. So again, I will explain all these concepts and how all of this works here as we go through this section. But for now, I hope that you can see the logic that we basically defined JS as being amazing. And then here in the next line, we said, that if JS is equal to amazing, then JavaScript should show us this alert window with this text. Okay, and now we can also change uh, JS to boring, hit return again. And now let's copy this text here again. So we want to run it again. So I'm just copying it and pasting it here. Okay, so let's try that again. And this time nothing happened. And so that's because JS is now no longer amazing. It is boring. And so in this case, if JavaScript is amazing is not actually true, right? Because it's boring now. And so in this case, the alert window is not shown. Now there's also another way of going to the previous command, which is by hitting the up arrow on the keyboard. 
So just like this. And so we can see all the previous commands that we used before. Great. Now another thing that we can do is to do simple math operations. Let's say just 40 plus 8 plus 23 minus uh, 10, let's say. Hit return and then here we get the result. So basically we can use this as a calculator. And I hope that you can see how useful this is going to become later down the road. Okay, and that's it for now. So I hope that this gave you a nice first taste of the language and of everything that is ahead. So if you want, you can experiment a little bit more with this, or you can move on right to the next lecture where we will learn what JavaScript actually is. So see you there.